Hey, air sign. Welcome to the last day of July. This is your daily read. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I want to see what's going on for you. Having a, a very nice summer. I hope y'all are too. And for those of you in the uh, Southern Hemisphere, I hope you're having a, a decent winter. <laughs> Hoping it's going good for you. And um, breathe, right? Just breathe. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on for you guys. So we are in Lion's Gate time period between uh, July 26th and August 11th when there is a spiritual portal opening. Chariot, moving forward with all due speed. So someone is feeling victorious, someone is moving forward, wanting to move forward, wanting to take a trip with you, wanting to be next near you, okay? Because Of course, because your strength. Oh my god, Lion's Gate. Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Pentacles. So you could be like really like successful in your business right now, and and um, air sign and and you're like you're the shit. <laughs> you are awesome, and you're doing your work. You're being a, strength is an eight card, um, eight of coins here, and the Lion's Gate piece. I mean, obviously strength is the Leo energy there. Um, Lion's Gate is about the highest energy of it is going to be on August 8th. That is going to be the strongest energy of this Lion's Gate period. And the star Sirius, Earth and Moon are aligning. And so what it means is there's going to be lots of awakenings, lots of um, spiritual connections between twins, right? Reunions happening, all kinds of things like that happening. So your person here that you're connecting with, that's interesting. That feels like not you. Wow. Okay. So this is very interesting. Um, King of Swords under here. I'm going to take that out, King of Swords. Um, so let's see the overarching energy of this reading. Right? Page of Wands. So good news. <laughs> Yay, good news. Even though we've got eight of swords, ten of swords, eight of swords, three of swords, it's good news. So let's see. Strength, wheel, eight of pentacles, kind of minding your own damn business, air sign. Really kind of minding your own business, knowing that the universe is moving you forward. You're, you know, sort of rolling with it, whatever. The person you're connecting with here is getting what they wanted. Nine of Cups, wish granted that something is ending in their life in a very ugly way. Uh, um, Nine of Cups, Ten of Swords, and then the star, the thing that they most want, you, wish granted, wish granted. On both sides of this Ten of Swords. It's, it's almost like they wanted this to happen. They wanted to look like a victim. Wow, we're going to explore that some more. So they're going to make an offer to you. There's an Ace of Pentacles here, like a very substantial offer. And I feel like you're going to be confused about that. This person, uh, Eight of Swords, Three of Swords. Let's get some clear clarity around this because we do have the King of Swords after all. This is about good news that you need to be like, trust but verify. Okay, King of Swords, Ronald Reagan. Trust but verify. Before you go moving forward with this situation, you want to know more about this because they've been wanting, what's this Ten of Swords here? Ten of Swords. My goodness. That just looks ugly. Hierophant. Uh, if you're waiting for someone to end a relationship, it's ended, and it's likely the other person walked out on them so they look like the victim here. But they've been actually wishing and hoping for that to happen. They've kind of been trying to make that happen. Right? Because you're their wish. Mm. Eight of Swords. Not seeing the truth here. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Being nurturing and not really paying attention to this. 
Three of Swords business here. What's that? Two of Swords. Just uh, be careful a little bit here. Lovers, this is a decision. I'm going to take that out. Lovers, um, I saw death. I know, I know, I know. Um, just make sure this new situation is nurturing to you. Because you might be a little bit blinded by them being so fabulous, okay? Them being very um, all about you. They might come at you with, like, big love, offering Ace of Pentacles. I'm seeing a, a little bit of this, like, love bombing stuff, okay? Um, I'm worried about the fact that they, if they were legit, completely pummeled in a previous relationship, they need time to heal. That doesn't go away. Okay, so just be mindful of that. Whether they wished for you, they wish for you, you're the strength card, okay? You, you are the prize. And so be mindful of this. Stay in your nurturing, grounded place, Queen of Pentacles. Pay attention, all right? Pay attention to red flags. Two of Swords, don't make any fast decisions, right? They've been hurt. And so there may be a rush to try and be in relationship. And I'm not saying it's like um, nefarious. I'm not saying it's like they're trying to dupe you. Because King of Swords is very clear, right? The love They want love in their life. And this old situation had to go. It went. It was painful. Uh, but just, first of all, they need time. Give them time. Second of all, just be, it. don't make any, don't rush in. Even though this Ace of Cups is going to be a big offer. It's going to be a big offer. It's going to be like they want to get married, a big, like an engagement, right? It's going to be big. So take care of yourself here. Just, you know, wax on, wax off. Be like, oh my God, I love you so much. Let's just take it one day at a time. All right, let's just take it one day at a time. All right, air sign, let's do an extended read for this. Let's see where we're going and how this unfolds. Um, I want to ask more about the motivations here because this Nine of Cups and Star is very dreamy. Very dreamy. And I feel like the King of Swords here is great. My, my concern is the Chariot here. It's about victory. It's about winning. So let's just see. Reserve judgment. Trust the pair. All right, guys, so click on the link below July 30th to August, July 3rd to August 5th. No, this is July 31st, Daily Read. I'll see you there. <laughs>